Good evening, and boy, do we have a great episode for you today. To start with, just yesterday, in a testimony that was given under oath, a Pfizer executive conceded that prior to entering the market, neither her nor any other officials over at Pfizer knew whether or not their COVID vaccine would actually stop transmission. However, let me back up for a quick moment and actually set the stage for you properly so what's happening here becomes crystal clear. This right here is Pfizer the company that, from a financial standpoint, was one of the biggest winners in regards to the COVID pandemic. That's because while companies like Amazon, Zoom, or Charmin, who manufactures toilet paper, they did pretty well during the pandemic, Pfizer, with their COVID vaccine, well, they just blew it out of the park. According to their official company filings, the COVID vaccine brought Pfizer an unprecedented $36.8 billion in sales just in the year 2021, making it quite literally the number one best-selling pharmaceutical product in a single year ever. I guess it doesn't hurt when you have governments around the world encouraging people and sometimes even forcing people to take your product. For instance, last year over in Europe, the European Commission introduced a vaccine passport system, which was an app on your phone that would change colors depending on your vaccination status. And as most things were during the pandemic, this vaccine passport scheme was sold to the public as a way to protect both themselves as well as others. However, there is a funny phenomenon in this world, which is that regardless of what kind of well-spun hyperbole you might say in public, well, typically, while speaking before Congress, you need to tell the truth. That's because while testifying, a person is usually held under penalty of perjury, meaning you need to tell the truth or you will face actual criminal consequences. And so, with that in mind, just yesterday, during a COVID hearing in Europe, a Pfizer executive conceded that prior to entering the market, neither her nor any other officials over at Pfizer knew whether or not their COVID vaccine could actually stop transmission. Let me just repeat that. Ms. Janine Small, who is Pfizer's president of international developed markets, she was sitting in the European Council getting questioned just yesterday. And here's exactly how an exchange went between herself and a member of the European Parliament named Rob Roos. Was the Pfizer COVID vaccine tested on stopping the transmission of the virus before it entered the market? If not, please Say it clearly. If yes, are you willing to share the data with this committee? And I really want a straight answer, yes or no, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, regarding the question around, um, did we know about stopping humanisation before um, it entered the market? No. Uh, these, um, you know, we had to really move at the speed of science to really understand what is taking place in the market. Now, that is a very interesting way to phrase it. Maybe I myself will try it next time. The next time a manager comes up to me and asks me whether I did something or not, I'll just respond to him by saying I didn't because I was too busy moving at the speed of science. Regardless, what her testimony meant is that under oath, this Pfizer executive conceded that prior to entering the market, the company did not know whether their product could actually stop the spread, which in and of itself is not really a secret. The reason that this is also relevant is because stopping the spread was the basis of a lot of vaccine-related messaging, as well as a lot of vaccine-related decisions that came out of governments around the entire world. For instance, within the context of Europe, here was how Mr. Rob Roos, who is the Dutch member of parliament, he was the one who was actually questioning the Pfizer executive on the video we watched, well, here's how he put it. If you don't get vaccinated, you're antisocial. This is what the Dutch prime minister and health minister told us. You don't get vaccinated just for yourself, but also for others. You do it for all of society. That's what I said. Today, this turned out to be complete nonsense. In a COVID hearing in the European Parliament, one of the Pfizer directors just admitted to me, at the time of introduction, the vaccine had never been tested on stopping the transmission of the virus. This removes the entire legal basis for the COVID passport the COVID passport that led to massive institutional discrimination as people lost access to essential parts of society. I find this to be shocking, even criminal. And of course, this messaging was not limited to Europe because right here in the US, it was also used to justify certain decisions. For instance, here's a short timeline. At the end of 2020, when the FDA just issued their emergency use authorization for the Pfizer vaccine, they wrote this on their website, quote, at this time, data are not available to make a determination about how long the vaccine will provide protection, nor is there evidence that the vaccine prevents transmission of SARS-CoV-2 from person to person. 
Likewise, around that same time, Mr. Albert Berla, who is the CEO of Pfizer, he said that his company was not certain whether or not those who receive the vaccine will still be able to transmit COVID to other people. Here's what he said, quote, I think this is something that needs to be examined. We are not certain about that right now. Furthermore, Dr. Deborah Burks, who was the White House COVID response coordinator during the Trump administration, she said that there was evidence in December of 2020 that individuals who received the vaccines, including Pfizer's vaccine, could still transmit the virus. Here's what she said, quote, We knew early on in January of 2021, in late December of 2020, that reinfection was occurring. However, despite these different statements, in May of 2021, Dr. Fauci, he said during an interview with CBS that vaccinated people were dead ends for COVID, suggesting that they could not transmit the virus further. Here was his full quote. When you get vaccinated, you not only protect your own health and that of the family, but also you contribute to the community health by preventing the spread of the virus throughout the community. In other words, you become a dead end to the virus. And when there are a lot of dead ends around, the virus is not going to go anywhere. Now, perhaps Dr. Fauci was in possession of some data that we didn't have access to, but that does not look like it was the case. That's because just two months later, he had to reverse course and he issued a correction statement clarifying that vaccinated people can still transmit the virus to other people. We are seeing that the uh, ability of individuals who are infected through breakthrough infections, namely vaccinated people who ultimately get infected, that they are generally without symptoms or minimally symptomatic. However, it is clear that they are capable of transmitting the infection to uninfected individuals. Likewise, in August, while discussing the Delta strain of the virus, the CDC published this statement on their website, quote, fully vaccinated people with Delta variant breakthrough infections can spread the virus to others. And so this was generally the common knowledge. However, perhaps Joe Biden was not aware of all this because in October of 2021, while he was justifying his vaccine mandates for both military as well as healthcare personnel, he made the claim that those with the vaccine cannot spread the virus to others at all. Here's what he said when, again, justifying his mandates to a public audience. We're requiring active duty military to be vaccinated. We're making sure healthcare workers are vaccinated because if you seek care at a healthcare facility, you should have the certainty that the people providing that care are protected from COVID and cannot spread it to you. Now, that is a rather absolute statement. However, while there was a study from Singapore around that time which suggested that those who are vaccinated might spread the virus less virulently to others, that really is irrelevant because Joe Biden's absolute claim, which he was using to justify his mandates, was still patently false. And it was still patently false two months later when Joe Biden again repeated it during an interview over in Ohio. Quote, the unvaccinated, not the vaccinated, the unvaccinated. That's the problem. Everybody talks about freedom and not to have a shot or have a test. Well, guess what? How about patriotism? How about making sure that you're vaccinated so you do not spread the disease to anyone else? And these claims were so egregiously false that even the fact checkers over at PolitiFact had to bend the knee and rate it mostly false, which was actually a pretty big deal for them. But that was pretty much the extent of the backlash against Joe Biden's false claims, which again, he was us using to justify his mandates, which were forcing millions of people across the, across the entire country to get vaccinated which actually really makes me consider the irony of the fact that if you, you or me, lie to the government, well, it's considered a felony. But if the government lies to us, it's just considered politics. All right, I wanna take a super quick moment to introduce the sponsor of today's episode, which is the one, the only, My Patriot Supply. Now, some of you do know this, but for the last month and a half or so, I've been traveling the world, speaking with different farmers in different countries about the different government policies that are pushing for actual food shortages. It's for a documentary that I'm working on. But regardless of why they're happening, regardless of these government policies, the end result is that, unfortunately, it does look like either food shortages or astronomical increase in the price of food is coming down the pipe. And regardless of the causes, the time to prepare you and your family is right now, not when the proverbial stuff hits the fan. And the best way to do that is with My Patriot Supply, because to viewers of our show, to Facts Matter, they are offering a great deal right now, wherein you can get 20% off their three-month emergency food kits. Just head on over to preparewithroman.com, and you can get these 20% savings on each of their three-month emergency food kits that you buy. And these food kits are awesome, and they contain a wide variety of 
things like delicious breakfasts, lunches, dinners, drinks, as well as snacks that will last one person three solid months, providing that person with about 2,000 calories per day in the time that they absolutely need it most. And best of all, they don't have a limit. So basically, you can buy a food kit for each of your family members, so that way when things aren't going so well, you don't have to fight for the uh, you know one food kit that you have in the cupboard. You can have one for every member of your family. And so don't wait until it's too late. Just head on over to preparewithroman.com and order your emergency food kits today. They are in stock, they ship quickly, and they ship discreetly directly to your doorstep in unmarked boxes. That way your nosy neighbors don't even have to know that you're prepping. And so again, that's preparewithroman.com. The link, of course, will be down in the description box below. And now let's head on back to the studio. Regardless, if you'd like to watch the full exchange that took place over in the European Commission, I'll throw the link to that. It'll be down in the description box below. You can check it out anytime. And also while you're making your way down there to the description box, perhaps take a short detour to smash, smash, smash that like button so this video can be shared out to several more people. And also consider subscribing to this YouTube channel as well. That way you can get this type of honest news content delivered directly into your YouTube feed every time we publish it. And then until next time, I'm your host, Roman from the Epic Times. Stay informed. Most importantly, stay free. Thank <laughs> you.